Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. It's been a while. Seems like forever since I put up a video. Um, just life got in the way. I had a bit of an accident walking sacks and ended up with a sprained wrist and strained muscles in my back after a big dog tried to attack him. He was quite okay, just a bit battered and bruised. He was on a leash. Um, the big dog wasn't, which is illegal here. So yes, it could have been a lot worse, but it wasn't. Thankfully, a guy in his yard helped me out. It's just that it was my right hand, which I crochet with, and it was pretty bad. The strapping's off now, but um, I didn't get much knitting and crocheting done. And I seem to have lost my total crafting mojo at the moment. Anyway, enough of that. This video is about some whips I did work on. A gift I received. Um, I have to check my list. I'm hopeless. I've got no finished objects for you. Um, giveaway at the end. The Facebook giveaway for a $25 voucher if you're part of the Facebook group. I'll be doing the draw at the end of this video. But please watch the whole video. It helps my watch hours, which are pretty low at the moment. So guys, what did I work on when my wrist got better and my back stopped spasming? It's down here in a basket. So I was hoping to have this finished by April, but I never did. I just kept doing too many projects. And last time I showed you that's my progress keeper there. This is my scrap blanket that Reeves wants in a queen size using all my black, grey, bluey scraps. Um, I think I've got about eight rows to go when it reaches the required fitting of a queen size bed. But right now I am using full balls of wool because it is pretty big as you can see but I did manage to do a bit of that because it's a basic Grammy stitch and um, yeah it's looking pretty good considering it was a lot of scraps and I did have a lot of blues so that was one project I worked on and towards the end of last week I think um, the call was put out for indigenous colored blankets for crochet for cancer and I thought, oh, I might get one made before I go. But I didn't have the colours because the colours are red, yellow and black. But I went to Big W, a department store, and I bought Carnival 8-ply, which is a good acrylic. Our blankets have to be in acrylic, 100% acrylic, because the people can be allergic to natural fibres. And I was lucky they had five balls for $20.00. But I have worked out, I'll probably need six balls. I only have one black, but I have two red and two yellow. They're pretty basic, but that was a good buy. So the blanket will probably cost me about $25 when I finished it in yarn. So this is it here. I've done one whole ball of red. I'll do a ball of yellow, ball of black, and then I'll repeat it and put a border on it. I'm actually doing um, the Sober Granny by the secret yarnery Krista I like this because it's pretty mindless and I get to keep the edges straight without thinking about it and yeah it does look nice when it's finished so this is what I've been doing I'm hoping to have that finished by the 12th of August when the next meeting is before I go on my holiday to the UK which is 18 days away I'm not counting much but yes, it does whip up pretty quick and I've been doing it in my lunch hour at work and a bit at night when my wrist is not too sore, but it's still quite sore in here. Um, the gift really blew me away. I was feeling really low and fed up with everything, life in general. Didn't want to get out of the chair. I'll even go and see the doctor for more um, painkillers for my back. But I opened up an email and I was gifted a pattern by a fellow podcaster and subscriber. 
I won't mention her name because I don't want her to be inundated with requests for gifts, but it really blew me away. She went on to my Ravelry checklist. It was only the day before that I favorited this after watching Iona's toy box. Her name escapes me. She'd made this cardigan and it looked amazing. She's such a talented crochet and does amazing amigurumis. So check out her channel. I will put a link in the description below. So it's the Cafe Breve Cardigan designed by Emily Davies. It's a crocheted cardigan. I'll see if I can open up the pattern and show you the pictures. But oh, here we go. That should be just tells you the yarn it is a fitted cardigan but that's it there I will make it probably a size bigger and make it a bit looser but I really do like it and I've been thinking should I start it and take it as a project away with me oh sorry I dropped something but my question to you is I do have yarn to start it I have Karen skinny cakes so it's like a DK yarn that you use. She uses all these really um, expensive yarns I've never really heard of. But I decide, I know um, the one I saw in the video she made in a four weight, but this is a DK and I have three of these Karen Skinny Cakes and I do like this grey, pinky, darker grey colour. And I picked these all up on special and I'm wondering should I make it in that or should I take the pattern with me or look for the pattern overseas and buy some really different yarn when I'm on holidays in the UK let me know in the comments below what you think I quite like that that's called dun, 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 cookies and strawberries that's probably what attracted me who doesn't like cookies and strawberries Karen skinny cake by yarn inspirations and it's a three weight which is equal to DK so the cafe beverage cardigan oh, I really want to make it I have so many tops on the go when I finish one it will be a miracle but yes what do you think and thank you to my podcaster fellow podcaster and subscriber I don't think you really realize how you made my day and lifted my week I felt so low I probably have the biggest international phone bill on record for us at the moment. I can only say organizing baseball tickets with Japan, with a country that and the guy barely spoke English, was a hundred percent easier than sorting out tickets with a ticket office in Edinburgh. Truly, the, their English is fine, it's just their attitude is that's it. So right now I've got my travel agent up in arms with them. <laughs> it's fortunate that thing um, is in Portugal and in a remote area because I think he'd be on the phone to them. I've sent four emails, got no replies. I ended up having to ring them internationally. And now I have a weird email that I'm not game enough to open until Reeves checks it because I don't want it crashing my laptop. It does seem a bit weird. When I rang Ribs at work, he said, don't open it. Let me have a look at it. From the same ticket people. So, yes. I will not let it put a damper on the trip. I will just move on. And if I have been scammed and lost $600, so be it. Lesson learned. Anyway, back on to what I've been doing. So, when my wrist wasn't bad was bad and I was a bit down Reeves offered to wind yarn up some really old yarn that I've had for a while old in that I've had it quite a while at least four years and it was one ball was looking really quite wrecked and he offered to wind it up for me to take as a traveling project when I'm flying because I fly out from Cairns I go to Sydney I have to go from Sydney to Dubai Dubai to Gatwick we couldn't even get into Heathrow at the time so I'm flying into Gatwick so that's this will seem strange but with stopovers waiting for planes I will be traveling for 30 hours and I'm not a great communicator with people next to me 
and I don't like to read books much because I get nausea and I don't watch a lot of movies unless they're really good. But I do like to knit and crochet on the planes. However, one of the airlines, because I change airlines in Sydney, doesn't let you take knitting. They let you take crochet. So I have to decide on a crochet, crochet project. Now, uh, he wound these into balls. This was the leftover. He's put them in there for me because my wrist was sore, which is really great because he's really not into my craft. <laughs> Other than occasionally he'll say, can you make me? And it is. Ice cream big scoop yarn by Lion Brand. Yes, you will say, gee, you've had that a while. It's a three weight or DK, which is great. And I love the color for a baby blanket. I think that's why I fell in love with it because it's called Lemon Meringue. And if you've followed me for a while, you know, my favorite dessert is Lemon Meringue Pie. So I have all this yarn to take with me for a crocheted project. I probably will get him to wind that into a ball for me again. It may cost me a beer or two. But yes, this is the yarn. My problem is because I like crojo, nitjo, whatever you want to call it, I can't decide on a pattern. The only thing I thought of is, and I do remember I like the pattern, I just didn't like the yarn I made it in, was a bag of day blanket, um, 571 hashtag she's got it out and she says it's the rocky road stitch i made that probably when i bought this four years ago i was given a lot of five ply yarn in this green and i know i called it the green mile if i can find a photo of it i'll put it at the end it did turn out nice and i did no donate it to crochet for cancer they loved it but yeah i was so sick of it and i'm not a fan of green and this is my least favorite green but that was back when my yarn stash wasn't very big. And when someone gives you yarn, you go, yes, thank you. Very nice. Anyway, let me know also in the comments below. Now, when I'm traveling, it has to be a relatively easy pattern that I can get muscle memory in. So I generally like a two-row repeat. I did think about doing another Sober Granny, but I've done a few and I thought, oh, be nice to have something a little bit more interesting. So if you've made a baby blanket in a DK weight yarn or three weight yarn, let me know what which tutorial or pattern it is. A two row repeat is ideal because I can sit for hours just doing two rows on a plane or at an airport and that would be awesome. But right now it's looking like the 571 Rocky Road pattern again also an easy pattern like the sober granny where i keep the edges straight because i can get carried away and end up with a blanket going like that so yes an easy two row repeat pattern for a baby blanket because this is really like baby yarn and i'd really like to use all this up i may even donate it to a charity in the uk i'll ask my son if i get it finished so that's about it. At the end of the video, there will be the draw for the Facebook group Make Along Christmas in July. You just posted pictures of anything you made in July. There are about 13 ladies who posted pictures and I will do a random draw after this um, video. It'll be tagged on at the end and one lucky person will win a $25 gift voucher and it was open worldwide. So with me going on holidays, I will be pre-recording um, a couple of videos and one of them will be for my next make-along in September. So make sure you check that out when it comes out because it's just going to be a short month make-along and we should have a lot of fun. So guys, that's it for me. It's been, I must admit, a really rough time and I cannot wait to get on a plane and leave this town behind just see something different even if i'm sitting at sydney airport for four hours i don't care so there you go i hope you're having a lot better time of it and have found your crafting mojo and enjoying it please make sure you share your pictures with me you can email me or put them on the facebook group or you can hashtag it which piece craft are you on instagram that would be awesome 
um, because I do get inspired by what I see, like the Cafe Beverage Cardigan. And this morning, because I've been watching um, Christmas in July, she was showing a video at a yarn shop and there was this blanket up there and I thought, wow, I might have to buy that pattern. And I did put it in favourites today from Ravelry. So there you go. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and life is just meant to be endured and got on with. Bye for now. Welcome to our Facebook group prize draw for Christmas in July. There are 13 names on the wheel. Some lucky participant will win a $25 gift voucher. Good luck, everyone. Angela M. I know who that is. Angela. I think it's Mannery. Angela, if you could email me, please. I'll put my email in the description below um, just to make contact and check that it's really you. And I will organise you a $25 gift voucher. We can work something out. Thank you.